Have you ever wondered what it's like to feel like you've been born in the wrong generation? Have you ever found an interest in classic rock and metal like the person you will meet today? Today's guest is someone who has an interest in both radio and TV, who is a retake in film and TV one production course, and has hopes to somehow make a living doing something in the production world. The Humanities Mass Pro Communications Department at Norwalk Community College presents the new directors, the show that introduces you to the te television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join our ho host, John Martinez, to meet the new next new director, Sean Wright. for joining us for today's edition of the New Directors. All the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you will meet on this show are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student has written and directed four different productions. This program will give them a chance to talk about themselves and the productions they've created and give you the chance to get to know them and enjoy some of the work they've done during the semester. Our guest today is someone who enjoys listening to classic rock and metal and has a very big interest in going to as many shows as he can yearly. He has taken the Film and TV Production 1 course before and had failed the first time, but he was determined to make sure that he wouldn't make the same mistakes twice. We would like you to meet today's guest, Sean Riley. What's up? How's it going? I'm good. I'm very good. So I hear that uh, you just recently attended Kiss's uh, last tour. Yeah. And, um, end of the road. Yeah. End of the road. And you are also a retake. Mind telling me a little bit more about that? So uh, just about the show. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was great. I got I got footage. If you want to see it, <laughs> you know, I got some. Uh, I got uh, tons of footage. Uh, but uh, a lot of times, but I got enough. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a good it was a great show. Um, you know, I uh, I uh, you know I <laughs> you see there that's where the uh, the merch stand uh, was. Those shirts were about fifty bucks, so I uh, I got two of them and I uh, just spent about a uh, hundred dollars out of my pocket there. So it was. Uh, <laughs> It was, uh, you know, I spent quite a bit. And then I got, you know how they have, uh, how at con concerts they sell shirts? Those guys outside, they sell the shirts for like 10 bucks or something? Yeah. So I ended up spending another $20 on a shirt. So I, sp I spent about $120 on, uh, on shirts. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I paid a friend for uh, my ticket. Although she said I didn't have to pay for the ticket, so it, it, went, it went to the drinks over at the Triple Crown, which is right down the, the, the way from the garden. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of uh, the, the experience there. You can see that uh, right there that uh, you know they get a not really an impersonator, but any time that you go to a Kiss show, it's a it's a whole different environment. You find people that are dressed up who uh, you know they they go as their favorite member. So it's 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 tons of fun, um, you know, and it, very loud. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't loud in that. You see that that shot right there? Yeah. So I you can't really see that, uh, although it's a great shot. Right above that, uh, if you've ever been inside Madison Square Garden, they have the Chase Bridges. So uh, I was second row to the top, and uh, uh, you know it did help with the you know the pop from the pyro, but unfortunately. Uh, um, you know, it, it blocks some of the sound, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was uh, <laughs> you know it was kind of a drag uh, sitting over there. But uh, I you know I got my shirt, I got uh, I I got ton, tons of uh, you know I, 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 another great memory uh, from from going to that show, and it was very special to me because that that was the place uh, I saw Kiss for the very first time uh, ten years ago. Uh, it was almost kind of like in that in that section a little bit, but not completely. But it was uh, it was fun. Uh, to answer your other question, let me get rid of this. To answer your other question, um, why I decided to take the to retake this course? Um, I decided to retake this course because uh, I had I I failed the first time. Uh, I didn't have the proper uh, 
Yeah, I'm a very stubborn person, so uh, I, I, <laughs> I wanted to go with my own ideas, and I, I wanted to uh, have my own. Uh, I guess I had my own view of how the how how it should have been, and Interesting. Didn't, yeah, it didn't go the way I wanted. So I, uh, P. Cooled sent me an email saying, you know, come back, let's let's do this again, um, and you know, I want to see you go. Uh, go on to the next class, uh, the next, you know, the next level of this class. And uh, so I did that, and um, I couldn't be more, more grateful to him uh, for that. So, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, could you tell us why you decided to take the film and TV production course? Again, I told you. All right, oh. so. <laughs> okay. No. That kind you, want, of you, want to, you want me to elaborate, I'll do that. But, uh, uh, but, but of course, yeah, but, you know, but that is the main reason. Uh the other reason is because you know I I wanted to uh, I wanted to prove myself that I could actually do this and uh, and I wanted to uh, you know just f try to make you know uh, you know everybody's going to make mistakes in this mm -hmm. class I've seen it but uh, uh, I wanted to try to make uh, less mistakes than I did uh, in. Uh, in this semester, uh, like uh, unlike I did prior, so. What are some of the most useful things you've learned in this course? Well, um, you know, I didn't really pay attention to as to how to do a rack focus, so um, I figured it out. I, uh, I, I, you know, I was determined to to get that to get that uh, going. I wanted to, uh, you know, I got. Uh, you know, a bunch of stuff from my, uh, uh, from from both Nature and Orange. Um, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I got, uh, I I figured out how to do the uh, the continuous zoom properly, uh, rack focus properly, uh, lines of grace, emotional lines, uh, you know, all of that. I, I I you know just properly figure, figuring that stuff out is is you know, what I, you know, was determined to do this time around. Interesting. Yeah. Can you please tell us more about the Orange and Nature project yeah. you created? Yeah, so uh, I really wanted to try this with uh, with two actors. Uh, fortunately, uh, something uh, ended up falling out, which, uh, you know, it, life happens, unfortunately. Uh, so I ended up actually asking my uncle, Harold, from, uh, from uh, Yonkers, New York. He... <laughs> He took the time out of uh, out of his day to come uh, come out on a Tuesday and, and do this with me at Todd's Point. Uh, there it is. Uh, it's a uh, you know it was a murder mystery, right? So uh, he's the he's the he's the cop. I'm the I'm the creepy killer, and uh, <laughs> you know there he is. And uh, you know as you saw, I completely dismembered an orange. And uh, you know what's funny about that in in that shot. Uh, actually, the whole the whole thing there. I was thinking about maybe putting the orange, uh, the uh, not the orange, the, the apple in the ground. But uh, you know, uh, continuity. I think it's called. Uh, it, it wouldn't have made any sense to to, to move the uh, the body. So we decided to keep it on the table back there. And uh, yeah, so I <laughs> I had to make it look interesting. So any law and order thing you see that uh, you know they're, they're taking notes and everything and. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you don't have a team of uh, you know of, uh, CSI guys. So uh, he ended up taking the uh, he ended up taking the you know the the, uh, uh, the shots. Uh, this one's my nature. Uh, th this was a this was uh, you know very you know I was very happy with this one as well as I, as I've said before. This is one of the the shots I did, I. I talked about the rack focus. I was determined to try to. I never figured this out, so I was determined to try to figure that out. So I got uh, the two uh, shots that were needed for this. That was in my backyard, and then this is the continuous zoom uh, right in my front yard. And I did that uh, just right to the you know right to a tree uh, uh, to the right side of my house. The other, the opposite direction, right from my my uh, my front patio, and uh, this one just right down the street. Um, uh, you know, it was, uh, again, I was very determined to make sure that I got everything done correctly, and I'm very happy of it. So, uh, yeah. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Out of those two projects, there must be one that you either really had a good time doing or one yes. that really shows off your skills. 
Do you mind telling us more? Yeah, you know, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I was uh, again uh, for me. Uh, uh, anything you're not strong with is like facing a beast, and I was, you know, the orange was was the beast, <laughs> so I was determined to get that one done, and I was really hoping to get this, uh, you know, this done the way that I thought it was well, it was actually supposed to be done. Funny thing about this shot here, so. Uh, this shot in particular, uh, you'll see in probably just a second here, the, uh, uh, the, the orange had, uh, I wanted to express emotion, so the, the orange is a person. So um, I, ended, I wanted to, to, draw, to draw a face on it kind of, and, uh, but uh, because this is one of the first shots that I had, I, uh, I didn't have a black Sharpie, so I had to use a silver one. Mm. And as you saw there, that uh, the, the 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 shot actually ended up being uh, you, you couldn't see the face because the the sun was reflecting with the <laughs> with the uh, the silver uh, uh, the silver sharpie. So, uh, but you know, I I got what I needed to with it. Then in this one, uh, uh, my uncle has his own stuff, and uh, I ended up we ended up uh, f taking a shot with that camera, and uh, he sent me that shot. And, um, yeah, it, I, we ended up getting exactly what I had wanted uh, f throughout that uh, throughout the process. So I, I, I'm happy with w the way it turned out. Good for you. Yeah. Now that you've taken this course, do you feel like you'll continue with TV production? I'd like to. I think that, um, you know, I mean, listen, uh, I, again, this is... Uh, this is TV one. It's not uh, not, not advanced. Uh, uh, you know, I. There's still plenty I, I need to learn, and I'd, I'd like to learn. Um, you know, I think that uh, where it is in, in the world in the world of that kind of business, I don't know what uh, I do, but uh, I, I, I'd like to be involved. It, it seems like it's so much fun, and I. I, I work, but I work best when I'm having fun, you know. As anybody should. I mean, should, work shouldn't be, you know, such a, you know, a drag all the time. You should be able to to enjoy what you're doing, and that's that's exactly what. That's exactly how I how I view I view any any job that you, you know, are very passionate about. You know what I mean? So interesting. Yeah. So today we got to meet someone who is determined to be as successful as he can in the world of broadcasting. As a new TV director, he hopes to apply what he has learned here at NCC to reach his goals. He also plans to use the new knowledge from TV One to make videos of his own. We would, we would like to thank Sean Riley for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors, and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you and have a great day. This has been The New Directors with your host, John Martinez, directed by Sharon Fornelin. I'm your announcer, Tyree Zell. The New Directors is a Nora Community College student production.